most of people they have the we call the struggle or mental, right? So they they face the, the challenge, they're gonna push harder and harder until they snap themselves, right? The string gets snapped. Yeah. After losing balance and falling back into old struggle-bound habits, Master Bing is sending the McDonald's to the Glenworth Valley for the weekend. Oh, that's it down there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Is that where we're going? Yeah, down into the valley there. It, it is hard to switch off and um, put your mind to something else like this, but I mean, you realise what and understand what he's what he's getting at and what his point is, definitely. It's going to be the best weekend ever. Oh, look how nice that creek looks. We'll stop here and have a look. Being in nature, away from the interference of everyday life, should help them to achieve balance once more. That's really nice, that crow, yeah. isn't it? I don't think any fish to be having it. No. Look at the emu, Mess. Can you see the emu in the... There he is. Can you see him? Isn't he tall? Or she? Hi, how are you going today? G'day, how are you? Good, thank you. That's all right. Uh, McDonald. McDonald? Okay, so it's just going to be here in Mill Paddock. I'm really excited because I really love camping and just spending time with my family outdoors. Going camping. Today, Merrick looks really happy. Taoist is a person who chooses not to struggle, but rather follows the way of nature. Hey, look our kookaburra! Unroll the tent, pull the corners into position so the floor is taut, and peg the corner D-rings at the feet of the... I figure we just wing it, it'll be right. For example, it is the nature of man never to read the instructions when putting up a tent. How easy was that? Sitting there helping himself to the strawberries. With the kids safe and entertained, Kez could put her feet up and relax. But she's out of practice. Unwinding from her frenetic weekday routine is proving to be a challenge. It is hard to start to sort of calm down and um, switch off a bit for me. Yeah, I'm getting there. Now, when I, now I know that we're getting wood and you know we're going to settle down soon and that it's 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 nice in the air and yeah, it's really lovely. So I'm getting there. But yeah, initially I'm still antsy. Like I'm just really I sit up and I'm still tense and yeah, it takes me a while to just go. You know, it's okay. Just chill out. <laughs> when you go camping, there's a couple of functional things you got to do, and then the rest of the time's just having fun. So yes, it does feel nice to be out in the outdoors. It's lovely here. Alrighty, so yep. Kez, do we want to start Operation Pea Soup? Well, yeah, you probably should, I yeah. guess. Today is Saturday. Two weeks ago, when we first met Stu, Saturdays were a little different. But after losing the one finger bet with Bing, Stu's agreed not to drink in front of the kids. Mm, it's nice. Instead of beer, green tea and incense. In Australia, incense is called a mozzie coil. Mosquito coil. The doll is the right way to do everything. So without struggle, no more or no less. If you are positive inside of your body, you've got a positive energy, and then you attract the positive from outside and the join with you. And then that means you're gonna attract the good luck. I'm cooking poon ham soup for dinner. Had the split pea soaking for a little bit. I've got a smoked bacon bone over there. Well, this take about an hour? Yeah, about an hour, I suppose. We'll just let it chug away, depending on the heat in the fire. 
Sticking to Master Bing's eating plan while they're camping is not easy. And for Stu, it's a bit of a breakthrough. Look, honestly, for, for camping, this is as healthy as I've ever done it. Normally it'd be sausage with sausage and a bit of tomato sauce. Um, followed by cold sausage later after a whole bunch of beers. So whether Master Bing's keen on it or not, I think I've done myself a bit of a favour. But there's no reason why you can't eat well. These little camp ovens can cook everything. They're fantastic. Stu's camp oven pea and ham soup has taken longer than expected to prepare. Do you need more wood? Yeah, it's not hugely hot. No, it will take ages if we don't mm. crack it up. Fire it up. If Kez and Stu can get the fire hot enough, the soup should take an hour to cook. Can get this thing cranking. Unfortunately, that will not be soon enough for four-year-old Merrick. What's he asking for? Yes, Mary. I'm hungry for I know what I can cook I'll get for you, you some something else. Do you want some cheese and bickies or something? I want cheese and bickies. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm no? doing pan fried bread. So why don't you ask the chef what he's doing? Yes. Stu is disappointed. His soup won't be ready until midnight. And now he's frying up some white bread to feed his family. What is that, herb or garlic? Or? No, it's cheese bread. You know the one like you get at um, Sizzlers? Sizzler. Oh, yeah, yeah. But something strange has happened. Yeah. While young Merrick tries to steal everybody's cheese bread, Missy Bella is getting the thing she craves the most, family time. Kez finds herself in a world without bills, without laundry, and with just one pot to wash. And Stu hasn't even thought about the beers in the back of his truck. So let the family more united, you know, more lovable, right? They're more enjoyable, actually. They're telling the story, they make it fun, they make a small, simple games, all right? A more fun. They didn't get drained their energy. And happy life come back. What Master Bing was talking about, you know, reconnecting and spending time together and getting outside with the kids. Um, we've done all that and it's just been the best. It has, it's been really enjoyable. And they're just very small changes that have made very big differences. And I guess that's the magic of what he does.